Well, hello everyone, it's Rose. And you see my diamond painting notebook, so guess what this is? This is a post-completion review. And the post-completion review is for possibly the worst diamond painting I have ever done in my life. And that is Music in the Fall from paintwithdiamonds.com. I hate that company so much, and I still have two of their diamond paintings in my inventory. I don't think I'm ever going to do them because their diamond paintings and their drills are the worst. Anyway. I chose this diamond painting for my friend Gail, whose brother, Jeffrey, passed away uh, August 14th of 2018. And I wanted to do a diamond painting in his memory for her. And so this is the one that I chose before I realized just how bad a company Paint With Diamonds is in terms of the quality of their drills. So I've shot a number of videos about this diamond painting. No diamond painting has ever taken me longer to do. And that's because it was such a horrible, horrible, horrible experience that I could only bear to work on it sometimes for a few hours at a time before I would have to move on to something else. And then my father got sick and passed away, and so there were two months that I didn't work on it for that reason. Um, but I'm just going to... Uh, okay, the main problem with this was the fact that the drills are of terrible, terrible quality. Now I'm gonna bring you down close so that you can see just how uneven these drills are. Now, this also was sealed with Tombow Mono Aqua Glue in between doing sections because otherwise drills would literally pop off like popcorn in a pan, um, like kernels of popcorn in a pan. And, like, I don't know if you can see just how bad the different heights and sizes of the drills are, but it's terrible. And so in between, you'll see the Tombow Mono Aqua Glue, which is the only thing that is holding the drills onto the canvas because they're too big and they pop. Um, even with the Tombow Glue, the drills still are sometimes come loose. So right after doing the post-completion review on this, I'm going to seal this diamond painting. Um, I might just make it a single video. Yeah, I think I will. I'll make it a single video. So I'm just showing you, like, look at that. What the heck is that? Like, this thing is po poking up so much. I don't know if... I can get in there much closer than that. But anyway, it is poking up so much. Look at this one here. Like, the only thing that's holding these in place is the, the glue. Look at that. Anyway, this is depressing, just doing this. Um, and it's too bad because it really is a beautiful, beautiful image. I'm afraid to use the toothbrush on it. I did bring a toothbrush out, and as soon as I started brushing to get any loose bits of Tombow off um, or cat fur, uh, some of the diamonds started coming off. So it's like, forget it, I'm not gonna do that. And that's after it's been pre-sealed um, with the Tombow. Um, it's a, it's a great image, like it's a beautiful image. I love the image. And now I've seen it on another company, so um, on AliExpress. So I would actually buy from that company on AliExpress if I wanted this diamond painting. Um, I don't know what AliExpress calls the diamond painting, but um, anyway. So uh, I've already spent four and a half minutes uh, bitching and complaining about this. Now I'm going to open up my notebook and bitch and complain some more. Uh, but I'm going to tell you my experiences here. So music in the fall. Uh, I got the kit, uh, no, I did the kit up on this on June 22nd of 2019. I started working on it on June 23rd, 
and I finished working on it on December 3rd. Day one, which was June 23rd. Started drilling, bottom right corner. So bottom right corner would be here. Um, it's about 95% three tens in that corner. I had to throw away every third one. After doing about 12 columns, I started placing the three tens so that the tiny tabs, which are on at least one side of about 80 to 90% of the three tens, are on, we're all pointing in the same direction. And I actually made a video about that, which I will link up in the top right hand corner of this video. That did help a bit, but the first 12 columns are popping like crazy. That's before I started doing the tabs pointing in all the same direction. Um, I will roll the first little section, three inches by one and a half inches, but the drills will pop again tonight. This diamond painting will be a misery. Day two, June 23. I found a way to stop the popping of the three tens. And so that's where I made my uh, Diamond Painting 411 Working with Drills with Tabs video. June 24th, notwithstanding turning three tens with tabs so that they're all oriented in the same direction, there are so many colors with tabs or two big drills that I had to tombow the first three inch section. Misery, look at these here. Oh my God, that's so bad. Anyway, um, July 11th, I've been away in London. New plan, use my leftover 310s, then use my Uyichia 310 extras. That should make room for others. Well, that didn't work so well when I did it. The spare 310s that I had were also not good quality. And they were a slightly different shade than the other 310s. So I have a patch on this diamond painting where you can, it looks like there's a bit of a square that's not quite the same as the others. It's not showing up on the camera as well as I'd like, but when I was looking at it just in natural light, not through a camera, you could actually see a patch. And that's where all my spare drills that I used from other kits went. They were slightly off color. Anyway, I, I wouldn't have known that there were different shades of black, but apparently there's different hues of black. Okay. Um, July 15th, I've used all the leftover 310s. Back to the paint with diamond 310s. Sigh. August 11th. I'm almost done. Only three or four days of work left. Now this is after having taken multiple breaks from this diamond painting. Like I would do sometimes a day or two days of diamond painting to finish a section. I would seal it and then I would put this diamond painting away so that I didn't have to think about it and I would work on another diamond painting that made me happy because this diamond painting did not make me happy. Um, so I'm almost done, three or four days of work left. It looks good, but is not good to do. The drills, even though they're glued down, are trying to pop. They're not flat at all. Uh, and then September 17th, I'm back home after five and a half weeks away in London, back to it. Uh, and then there was a, a longer break because my father passed away the following week and um, and I just I took a break from this diamond painting. I, I just I could not bear to do this diamond painting uh, while I was going through the worst of my grief. Um, so December 1st, I'm back to it after two and a half months away. I've done a whole bunch of diamond paintings that I loved, but Christmas is coming. So I should get this done and give it to Gail, finally. But first, I'll procrastinate with a trip to McDonald's. And that's saying a lot because I was trying to be so good at not breaking 
my diet. Oh well, that kind of went out the door. Anyway, oh my God. This is after McDonald's. Oh my God. The black drills are so bad. I had forgotten. Most colors are bad. I hate this diamond painting so much. December 2nd, almost finished. About five inches by three inches remaining, which I'll finish tomorrow. December 3, I'm done. So glad. Even with Tombow, it's super sparkly. And you can see that through the camera here. It is super sparkly and it is a really nice painting. And I mean, I think she's gonna love it. Even though every time I look at it, I will hate it. Anyway, um, there's a bit where I used leftover 310s from other projects, but they were not the same color. Oh well, it looks great. And I'm probably the only one who's ever going to notice that it's not great. Anyway, okay, so that's that. Now I am going to put my book away and I'm going to put you up in the uh, holder while I uh, do, I show you the spares and my trash and all that stuff. Okay, so just hold on. I'll just move this aside. I've got my counter ready to do the ceiling on, so that's why you're not seeing this being done at my coffee table, which is where I usually do. All right. So here are all my spare drills and my trash and my trash 310s. So this here is just the trash 310s. This is the 310s that were so bad that I could not even consider using them. And then there's all these 310s left over. And I'll tell you something. This here has got to be at, at least 3,000 310s. What diamond painting company is going to send you over 3,000 extra 310s unless they know that their diamonds are of the most pathetic quality? And even so, getting rid of the ones that were completely unusable, I still had the problems that I showed you before. So. There you go. So I will keep these 310s because what I'll do is if I ever run out of 310s, I'm going to mark these as paint with diamonds so that I'm never confused. Um, and if I ever run out of 310s and I don't have any other spares from another project, I will go through these and I will try and find drills that I could use as, as replacements. But I hope I never have to use these. These will definitely go in my trash bucket. This here, just so you can see the, the comparison, this is all the rest of the trash. I'll show that to you in a bit. But let's take a look at the spares. There were so many colors that were bad, I don't even remember which ones were bad. I'm going to mark all of these as paint with diamonds because I'm so concerned that the quality of the drills is bad that I, I don't want to use them on another project. Like, I, I think I'm just going to leave them in this bag um, in my spares because I don't want to go through the, I don't want to, I just don't want to deal with these drills ever again if I don't have to. Okay, um, so I had quite a few left of all the colors. These color, this uh, 3447, which is a lot of this water here, they were also terrible. And look how many there are left. And I mean, the colors are beautiful, but the quality was just so, so bad. So, 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 so bad. Anyway, there are 45 colors, I, 35 colors. I don't wanna show you all of them, um, but suffice it to say, that I wasn't worried about running out of drills for any of the colors. I mean, when there was a color like this that had very few drills left over, it's because there were almost uh, no spots on the canvas that needed drills. Um, but I would strongly urge anybody who's not uh, experienced with paint with diamonds, you never want to become experienced with the paint with diamonds canvases. They are 
the worst. I have ordered from as many different stores on AliExpress and on the internet as I can because I want to bring to you as many different kinds of diamond paintings as I probably possibly can from different sellers. Paint with Diamonds is by far the worst diamond painting company on earth. Um, I don't know what more I can say to you. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to put these away now. Never again to open this bag, I hope. And, you know, people will say, well, why don't you just throw the drills away? Because I am constitutionally, and that's my constitution, unable to throw away drills. I can't. I just, I can't. I can't throw away a drill. I don't even throw away garbage drills. Um, so I will keep these. I have to put them in here neatly. Okay. Um, and then the only thing I won't put in here is my trash. And uh, there we go. So there's my Yeah, okay, so those are the drills left over. And now here's my trash container. And I actually thought about this many, many times while I was doing this diamond painting. And that is, should I put my black 310s, or should I put my 310s from Paint With Diamonds in with the rest of my trash? Because... I mean, this is all of the trash I have from all of my diamond paintings. And that is the trash that I have from the Paint With Diamonds. It's going to completely overwhelm the beautiful colors of the others. So, what I'm gonna do is show you the trash from the others. because it is kind of pretty. I mean, you know, there's some colors in there. And let's just bring that up as close as possible. I don't know if you can see that very well. Anyway, there's all kinds of little things wrong with this. I'm trying to get it to focus. I have the phone turned upside down so it's the front facing camera and it's not really focusing as well as I'd like. Anyway, okay. I think that's okay. Um, there's all kinds of problems with these drills. Uh, there's convex drills. There's drills that are too big. There's drills that have tabs. There's drills that are too tall. Lots of drills that are too tall. Um, there's melty feet. There's tabs. There, oh my god. There's just so many different things wrong with these. Um, it's, it's bad. And this is a lot of trash. This is a lot of trash for a diamond painting that big. And that's just the colored trash. And then we have the 310 trash. Now, I'm not going to put that in here. Not like that. I'll put it in a little bag and drop it in there. But oh, there's just too many 310s that were trash for you to even be able to see just how bad these are. So, oops. Hold on. Okay. All right. So take a look at that. I mean, again, I wish I could get closer, but I can't with the front facing camera. It's not good. Um, it's just awful. There are so many things wrong with these drills. Uh, there's huge drills. There's drills with, like, I, I can't even describe what's wrong with the drills in some cases. Um, but huge, tall, concave. Well, concave is actually not too much of a problem with these. But they're all misshapen. Like, take a look at this one here. Oh, where's my finger? Like that one right there. That one. It's, it's like... It's a humongous. It's humongous. And then there's all those ones that are horribly misshapen. 
I'll see if I can blow this up when I have it on screen. I can't, I can't really show you right here. Anyway, just so much, so much trouble. So much trouble. Anyway, that's done. So I'm going to, whoops, drop that in there just like that. It offends me to see it like that, but I don't know. Maybe someday when I have more other colors, I'll be able to let those drills loose. But I can't right now. I just can't. Okay, so that's it. So that is the post-completion review for, the, oh, for this diamond painting. Now there's one that I'll let go in there. Ah, hold on. There we go. Unless it popped off the painting there. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Um, I, I know that you can feel my disgust with this painting. So let's get this stuff all out of the way and let's do the ceiling on this. Here is the diamond painting ready to be sealed. Now I removed all the tape that I had around the edges uh, just because I'll end up cutting Now I'm thinking maybe I should just pull off the excess adhesive, but no, I'm not going to bother. Uh, okay, so I have a little bit of polyurethane left in here. I have my rubber gloves. It's super important to use rubber gloves. I have my drill pen. I have my tweezers. These are all scummy from previous projects. I have a new paintbrush because... You can paint multiple diamond paintings with one painting and one with one paintbrush in one go, but I found that it really doesn't work too well to paint uh, with a previously used paintbrush. I have my rolling pin because I will roll this again. I have my glitter. It, this is extra fine glitter, and the color is snow. I bought this at Michael's. And I've used quite a bit of it, but it seems like it's not going anywhere. I have my tongue depressor, and I have just a lid that I use to mix the glitter and the polyurethane in. And I have my 99 cent plastic tablecloth to protect my counter from um, any accidents with the uh, polyurethane. So the first thing I'm going to do, normally I would brush the diamond painting. I've done that multiple times. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is just one more time, roll it. And that sucking sound you, you hear is there is now adhesive that's been um, uncovered when I remove the, the tape edging. And here is that little square where you can tell that the diamonds are different. Anyway, um, I can tell anyway. All right, that's about as good as it's gonna get. I don't wanna brush too much because, um, well, I just don't, uh, because I'm afraid of loosening more diamonds. So one last thing that I'm gonna do is I hold it up to the light and I look through the back of the diamond painting because you can tell through the back of the diamond painting if there are any gaps. Where you see a gap, where you see too much light coming through, that's where there's a loose diamond or like it's come out. So, okay, so this has no loose diamonds. Just before I started this video, I actually did that as well. And there were a couple of diamonds that had come off uh, while I was brushing and so forth. And so I used a little bit of Tombow and glued them down. And so that they're now as well in there as I can possibly make them. Uh, so let me get out a couple of pairs of gloves, or let me get out a pair of gloves. I don't know if I need two, but I'll use two with that. Um, okay, so I'll put those on in just a moment. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just shake some glitter into this cap that I have. And I am using the shaker part of it, not the pouring part of it. 
because a little dab will do ya. So that's about how much I'm using. Maybe a half a teaspoon, something like that. And I might shake more out in a little while. And I always keep the glitter in a Ziploc bag because the I don't know about you, but the last thing I want is zip, is um, uh, glitter everywhere. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use the ends of my tweezers to pry up the, the oh shoot, I should have just I'm gonna shake it first. I don't think it matters, but I'm just gonna shake this polyurethane. And what I'm using is Minwax, fast drying polyurethane. It is clear gloss. It is not crystal clear gloss. And so it will leave a slight yellow uh, tinge to the diamond painting. Unless you've got a diamond painting that's pure white, it really won't matter. Um, and I've sealed many diamond paintings with this and I have not been, um, like it hasn't, it hasn't hurt the diamond painting to use, oh, I've got some on my hands. Okay, so time for the gloves. So the time for the gloves is before you start playing with the polyurethane, just saying. All right. And I might regret wearing this clothes if there's an accident, but oh well. Uh, okay, and I just have like a plastic spoon because what I'm gonna be doing is I know now that I'm, I probably will use a lot of what's left here. There's not a lot, there's like maybe, I don't know, a little over a quarter of a cup, maybe a third of a cup. So it's quite yellow, but when you spread it out over the entire diamond painting, it's not that much. So, and I've got a few diamond paintings that I'm going to be sealing today. So I'm not too, too fussed. Um, and then I've got my tongue depressor to mix in the glitter. Now it's not going to be perfectly suspended in the polyurethane, but that's what the brush will do. The brush will help to distribute the glitter. Oops. And see I spilled there a little bit, so it's a good thing that I have um, it's a good thing that I have this uh, cloth down. Well, it's not a cloth, it's a plastic tablecloth. Okay, so now I'm just going to wet the brush. Brush a little bit and then just start brushing. And because it's already been sealed, I don't need a lot. And that's hard for me because I tend to like to do things a lot, but I don't need a lot. So I'm trying to control myself from overdoing the Minwax. And I tend to brush from side to side, and then I'll brush up and down, but it's, you know, it's, it's, there's no big science to this. If you haven't done this before, um, you really can't hurt the diamond painting unless you put too much on. And I did do that with one of my diamond paintings. I put too much on. And then while I was drying it, it wasn't drying 100% flat. I laid it on top of a wire clothes drying rack. And so there was a little dip in the middle. And so the, the um, polyurethane ran down into that little dip. So you don't want that to happen. So the best thing to do is not use a whole bunch. And if you're like me, that's hard because I like to use a whole bunch. But I'm going to control myself and not use more than what I put into the the cap. I'm just going to use that all up. 
There we go. And again, if, like I am going to make sure that absolutely all of the diamond painting is covered. Oh, you know what? I do need a little bit more. I do need a little bit more. All right. And there's already um, glitter in there, so I'm not fussed about uh, not having um, more glitter because there's already glitter that I've spread on the canvas. And you, this would actually still look nice even without glitter. So you don't have to use glitter. I just do it because I'm afraid that um, the sealing process will diminish the, gl the glitter of the diamonds a little bit. So adding a little extra sparkle is not a bad thing. Now the other thing you don't want to do is use too much because that might um, loosen the diamonds because you're getting liquid down in between the diamonds and if, if that liquid uh, goes down all the way to the canvas, which it will, there's a possibility that being too aggressive in your brushing and so forth could actually loosen some diamonds. Which is why I have the drill pen here and the tweezers because that happens and I just want to be able to um, I just want to be able to put the diamonds back if they come off. Okay, so this one is pretty much done. I will brush a little bit more just to make it as smooth as possible and as even as possible. Oh, I think it was just some of the dried polyurethane from the cap that got mixed into the wet polyurethane. Because I've been using this cap ever since I started sealing diamond paintings. Okay, so there is a little piece of hair here. These tweezers are actually sealed together. Oh, my goodness. I suppose I could get another pair of tweezers. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. Ah! Okay, I don't want to be messing things up here. I only have about 300 other tweezers. So, okay, so there we go. Uh, let me see. I saw a hair here somewhere. These tweezers suck. Okay, it's not coming off because I can't get a good hold on it. So I'll just wait until this is all dry. And then, and then I will just uh, break it off. And that hair will essentially be gone. Okay. So that's it. This diamond painting has been sealed. Now, if I want to, I can let this layer of uh, polyurethane dry and put another layer on it. Um, and I, I don't think I'll need to do that. And I also don't want to make the diamond painting overly stiff. Because with every layer of polyurethane that you put on, it's going to make it stiffer. So this is something that I'm thinking about for the others that I'm going to be sealing today. This one, I'll frame and give to Gail um, when I see her after Christmas. Because I won't be seeing, well, I will be seeing her in a couple of nights. But there will be other people with us, so I'm not going to give it to her with our other friends. Pippi, stop it. I don't know what you're doing. Stop it. Uh-uh. Um, yeah, so I don't want to give it to her with our other friends around. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. We'll see. Because um, I'm seeing her tomorrow night, I guess. 
Um, otherwise, it'll probably be uh, for um, a post-Christmas get-together. Her sister comes down from Windsor every year for her birthday, well, for Christmas, and stays through until at least her birthday, which is December 28th. So, um, and I always see her uh, for her birthday. So, um, um, I will possibly give it to her then. All right, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how, how far advanced I am in getting this thing framed. Because it'll need to dry um, for a few hours anyway. Drying it overnight is the best, and that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll see if I get it framed tomorrow. Uh, I think I have a frame that I can use. Okay, there's brush uh, fibers coming. There's the brush fibers coming out of the brush. Okay, so that's that. It's done. Um, there's not an excess of polyurethane on this, which is good. I think I can wear those gloves again. Put my next oeuvre. And you will see me again when I, free, uh, when I frame this thing. All right. So for now, I'm just going to take it away and um, put it in the bathroom to dry, away from the cats, away from the dog. And I will put it on something very flat so that I don't have to worry about it uh, pooling or not drying flat. Okay? So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope uh, what I was saying was clear because I was looking down and the camera is up high. Um, if you have any questions, you can put them down below and I will respond to any questions that you might have. Um, somebody asked in a previous video where I used polyurethane to seal, doesn't it stink? And yes, it does. You get that polyurethane smell and so it's going to smell up my condo. I have a one floor condo. Um, it's going to smell up my condo for a day or two. Uh, but eventually the smell will dissipate. So as long as you're not worried about the health effects of, you know, breathing in the polyurethane uh, fumes, um, it's not a big deal. If you're worried about that stuff, then I would tell you to use Mod Podge or use Tombow Mono Aqua Glue. Uh, both of them are quite good. I will be doing other videos uh, demonstrating Mod Podge. But that won't be today. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. And I hope you come back again soon. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. Let me know what you think of this video. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.